What I'm going to go, uh, go through and show you now is one of the most difficult lines to bat against, whether it's a spinner or a seamer, or most young people find it really difficult to play the ball on the hip line here of the short ball or um, if it's on the front foot also. We've already spoken about the front foot quite a bit, but on the hip line, slightly short ball, how we manage. So one of the key points why people get into difficulty on that line is because they lock themselves up, because there is a myth that cricket is a side-on game. Yes, to some extent, but we need adjustments as well. So if we play like this side on, we lock this side up and we can't access the ball. So it's really important that when it's on the hip line, this way, we are able to move the front hip out of the way to access wideish mid on, mid wicket, square leg. So I've just hit a few where I have moved the hips out of the line. Now, at times obviously, when we are playing against spin, off spin especially, I'll have a man here on a turning wicket. Now, if I'm going to go here and do this, and the ball takes the edge to there, it's really easy for the backward short leg or leg slip, whatever you have, okay? However, if I can go here and block this off and move this hip out of the way, then I guard his view for a lot longer. So, especially on a turning wicket, I play the odds a bit in my favor because it's difficult for the backward short leg to pick the ball up when it finally goes to him at a bit of speed because my front leg is in his vision. If I keep it here, it's easy for him. So that's one of the advantages of batting on a turning wicket if you take this foot out of the way and guard backward short leg or leg slip.